Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned, and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. The City of Frazee and Frazee Event Center, featuring a 5,000 square foot room, a built-in stage, and a full-service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm down here in beautiful downtown Frazee, right with a little turkey behind me with Steph Hogan, secretary of the North Country Trail Association's local chapter of the Laurentian Lakes. Yeah. How are we doing today? Very good. Well, I know we've got our big annual meeting coming up in January, and of course, we're always looking for new members or people always. that want to come out and uh, enjoy uh, the trails. And, and, and we meet up at uh, Maple Log. Right. On January, January 8th. 8th. 4 o'clock. But you do have the opportunity to come out and, and ski, cross country ski or snowshoe earlier in the day. And they, you can do that for free if you stay for dinner, if you get your, make a reservation for the dinner meeting. Mm -hmm. And so the, the, how much is the dinner then? The dinner is $24, mm -hmm. so you've got a day's worth of activity for 24 bucks, which is a good deal. It is, and the food is tremendous. They do a great job. They do a wonderful job. And uh, they treat us real well at Maple Log. Yes, they do. And, you know, uh, we usually have a pretty good turnout for it, unless it's like uh, 30 below or something. Or something like that. <laughs> There's also the silent auction, mm -hmm. and then there's the Lucky Bucks auction. Yeah. And this year the speaker is Jim Sinclair, who is a photographer, has been a, a, an award-winning photographer of wildlife from, from the Detroit Lakes area. Mm -hmm. And he actually is donating one of his pictures for auction that, that day. And that's going to be nice, too, yeah. you know, I mean. You know, yeah, like you say, Jim. Jim is a well-known person. He's been involved in a lot of stuff in Detroit Lakes area, the community there, uh, helping with youth too. You know, and and uh, also uh, doing a newspaper article for many years in the Detroit Lakes paper. So, it, it's going to be good to have him come up and yep. and talk a little bit about nature too. You know, yes. And and of course, you know, our group. Uh, you do uh, hikes all every month. Every, uh, just about every month and actually last summer we were going once a week and we went on Wednesdays and actually Jim's wife actually hiked with us a uh -huh. number of times so it was it was a good it's been a good activity over them mm -hmm. particularly when you are stuck inside so much it gives you a chance to socialize and walk with the group well and that's one of the biggest things you know with the uh the health care situation at this point, you know, is what can you do with a group of people where you aren't piled right on top of one another? Yep. And yeah. you you get to know the, the rest of the people who come regularly and you get your exercise and your fresh air and it's, mm -hmm. it's been a real fun activity. Well, and you know, we've got 68 miles of trail that this group has Yes. built out of Itasca State Park up into Clearwater County and within eight miles of Frazee here. Yes. And, and that's phenomenal. And and go out there to where the bridge goes over the, the overpass goes over the road, Highway 10. Mm -hmm. And most of that, we're very fortunate because most of our, our trail here is off-road. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have a little bit, but even the road from here out to 34, mm -hmm. Piaz, is nice. Yes. Yeah, it's it's good out on 120, out, yep. uh, 20th out there, and then out through Holtz Towers. Yes. Uh, pasture, <laughs> and up into uh, Hubble Pond. Yes. Which is a beautiful area, and then Tamarack. Yes. So. And then Itasca State and Park. And Itasca <laughs> State Park. But I really appreciate you being on the program, Steph, you know, and. And so if you're interested in what the North Country Trail is doing, uh, how do they find out about this step? They, we have a website, North Country Trail, NCTA. Um, you can go out there, check, look for the Laurentian, Light, Laurentian Lakes um, portion of that, and they will give you all the information. 
you do need to um, sign up by the end of December. Well, I appreciate you being on the program, Steph, and all the work you've been doing for us out there. Thank because you. Because I love it. I mean, it's hard for me to get out, but I do encourage people to get out there and enjoy the great Minnesota outdoors. Yep. And this is one of the best ways to do it. Yes, it is. Because you sure see a lot of stuff. Yes, you do. All right. Thank you, Derek, for being on the program. And with that, we'll be right back. Oh, you're going to be here for our snowplow parade, too, aren't you? We, we are not going to be able to. Oh, you aren't. Oh. But I will attend. So well, we appreciate that, Steph. So, and that's what we're going to talk about on the next segment. So we'll be right back. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ludke, and I'm in beautiful downtown Frazee, right in front of the Chic Shack here with Alicia Jopp and Karen Pfeiffer. Howdy, ladies. Hello. Good, Good morning. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Not as beautiful as yesterday, but it, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. And I know we've got a big event coming up, the Snowplow Parade. And there's a whole day now of going on stuff. So you're going to have to let me know what's all happening so our lovely audience out here can know what they're, what they're up to when they come to Frazee. Absolutely. <laughs> well, do you want just a rundown of a few things? Yeah, just, just run down okay. a few things, you know, and, and it's going to be December 11th. Yes, December 11th. Um, most of our events are uh, starting at 8 a.m. with Santa Breakfast over at the Event Center, um, put on by the FHS Band. Uh, there will be breakfast with Santa Claus. He will be there with treats. Um, there will also be Detroit Lakes Rotary there uh, with the, the Christmas book giveaway. Um, that will be from 9 to 11. Uh, there will be Christmas crafts. Uh, Jolene's doing a holiday vendor show. A reindeer cake walk throughout the day. There will be a setup for um, do-it-yourself um, family photos, friends, whatever you want to do. You can take your own uh, Christmas card photos. Um, lunch will be served by Tricia Mitchell's um, FFA, FFA class um, until 5.30. Um, the, uh, throughout the day there's other events in town here uh, right on Main Avenue with uh, the new this year's yoga in the snow, snoga and hot <laughs> chocolate. It will be right down here on Main Avenue across from United Community Bank. You can call her. Um, You'll need the, the hot chocolate after Snoga. Um, I don't know if you're going to want something hot after that, but um, <laughs> well, hopefully we'll have a nice day. Uh, we have the Living Nativity in the same area that day. Following that, we have Lester coming again with horse-drawn trolley rides uh, starting at 4.15. Um, and events throughout the evening will be the Snowplow Parade, which Karen will share a little bit about. Uh, Karen All Estates will have an event out there from 7 to 9, uh, holiday drinks and appetizers, and you can see what an asset that is in our community area. Uh, visit Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus at the VFW. Um, there'll be bags of treats handed out from 5 to 7. There'll be entertainment at both the VFW and specials and, and uh, pizza specials over at Third Crossing Bar in the uh, evening. Uh, Kroki by, by Matt from 8 to midnight. Um, several events going on and there'll be discounts and, and specials going on throughout the weekend to uh, celebrate. So just check on that but we, we want to get in about the snowplow parade. So mm -hmm. yeah the snowplow parade. Lineup starts at 5 30 at Daggett Truck Line. We can't wait to see what you can decorate and bring all the lights to town. We're going to have the fire pits set up all uh, down Main Street uh, so you can warm yourself by the fire while you enjoy the parade if you are bringing your family to town for that. But yeah, we have um, a lot of, part of it. if you want to be a part of it, you can call me at 218-255-3919 or email karen.piper at essentiahealth.org. Um, either way works. We would love to have you. Uh, we welcome everybody. And then also just um, a quick summary that part of our Merry Frazy Christmas is part of our Cornerstone project. We sponsor that each year uh, because we're really invested in the well-being of youth and family and the community. So it brings a day full of events uh, that really make this a great place to live and be with your kids and, and people that you love. 
And so we're excited to be able to support it. We have kids that have been involved throughout the process. They help set up some of the trees. They've been decorating trees. There's some that are gonna be in the parade. Um, it's just a great community effort. Yeah, we'd like to thank everybody that took part in the adopted tree. Um, you'll, if anybody comes to town, you can see all the trees decorated at night, all lit up. It's going to be beautiful. Um, there also is a toy driving held December until the 14th, and on December 11th, anybody can bring a toy with them to the Frazee Event Center, um, an unwrapped toy for any of the area youth. It's sponsored by uh, Four Corners Lions Club and Erie Township. Um, other than that, you can bring it to Four Corners, the liquor store over there, the store, and also Curly's on Cotton Lake. Um, we just wish everybody a great holiday season and hope that you'll join us on that weekend. Well, I appreciate you ladies being on the program, taking time out of your busy schedule to promote this, and it's going to be a great time. Come on down to Frazee and enjoy the snowplow parade, and remember, that the dog hugs the kids, kiss the wife, and wave at the neighbor. The next person you wave at could be your next best friend. We'll see you next week on Spotlight on Frazee.